autumn. Cold, bleak, dark. It's weird to think of those descriptions for such a vibrant and colorful place as Nanaimo, the harbor city on Vancouver Island. But November brings a sight that tourists have never seen before. The freezing wind and the dark clouds seem to suck out all contrasts and color everywhere. But in one of the small streets in the n- downtown Nanaimo, a rainbow flares up behind the windows of the Mixta Art Gallery. Beautiful art, fascinating displays, wonderful pieces that materialized with the collection of everyday items. Bright, primary colors splash out wherever you look. The gallery could be compared with a massive crayon box. Mr. Grand Lee and his wife Nixie Barton have been artists for a very long time and have experienced for many years creating beautiful pieces of art and bringing color to Nanaimo on the dark days of November. A fascinating range of different types of art cover up the walls in combination with things such as old advertisements, collectible teaspoons and painter's brushes. Grand Lee forms the most amazing pieces, every single one completely different from the other. Barton and Lear have frequent exhibitions, their latest one was at their display in the Art Lab in Nanaimo. Even after four decades of hard work, Grand Lear still works every day on creating the most amazing art pieces. Hello, my name is Grant Lear, I'm an artist living in Nanaimo, British Columbia, and I'm a painter. I mostly do two-dimensional work, acrylic on canvas, but do a number of other uh, subjects and and, uh, media as well. I was trained at Alberta College of Art in Calgary in the early 70s and I've been painting full time for 40 years. Um, I was a textile major at school and minored in illustration and uh, went on to the Illustrators Workshop in New York after I graduated in 1974 and um, came back to Calgary and tried to make a living as a textile designer and with hand silk screening yardage. It was hugely unsuccessful and about a year after I of trying that, I um, started pursuing commercial illustration, which was great for honing one's skills as a painter because the work was all very tight and commercial. And um, at the same time, I was attempting to get my figurative work into galleries and worked at the Calgary Zoo, uh, drawing animals and doing their advertising. Okay, Um, Nixie and I had, after we were married, um, we had a gallery downtown in Victoria for five years. And then when our son was born, we moved up to near Nanaimo and onto an acreage. It was an old hobby farm that was kind of run down and turned the barn into a gallery and created this very whimsical garden that was quite extensive and and the great thing about the garden and the gallery that we had out in Cedar uh, was that it became kind of a destination and the garden people really identified with it they really felt good when they were there and it was rewarding for Nixie and I to have created that because it it wasn't just pleasing for us it was pleasing and even helpful I think for a lot of people that if they felt good being there and it was a kind of a healing Um, one of the things that I really like doing is directing um, the viewer with titling on paintings. The works become narrative just by the nature of the subject matter that I'm using, but I can do a, an odd title that somehow gives a piece of twist that uh, I can have a lot of fun with, and I think people enjoy that. I know uh, that's something that I always spend. I give a lot of thought to titling the work. Uh, Reaction to the work that I do is mixed. Uh, Most people are pretty positive about it uh, and they're they're reacting to the color and the fact that the 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 works have a positive sort of um, a general sense of well-being that you get from looking at them. It's like whether for some people you know you get that feeling when you you look at a beautiful car Um, the same thing happens with paintings and and for the most part the response is good. I think Some people have issue with the fact that the work is decorative. I mean, I was trained as an illustrator and I've never apologized for the fact that the the work is decorative and um, pleasing to the eye. Um, Both Nixie and I work really hard. Uh, I've always treated my my career as a painter as 
as a real job and um, you know I, I put in 40 50 hours a week painting and enjoy every minute of it and I do that as much now as I did when I was in my 20s and I'm going to be 60 next year so um, yeah it's I think one of the things that's important as, a, as an artist whether you're a visual artist or a dancer or a videographer or a musician is you you have to be dedicated and you really have to put in a lot of time and and be almost driven